Today, we're changing this into this. My name's Nakoda. Welcome to Beyond Capability. Most of you guys know the garage gym uh, with the deadlift platform and the squat rack, but what's behind the scenes? And today I'm gonna to show you that whole mess that I'm pretty embarrassed of. I'm also gonna show you cleaning it up, organizing it so that way we can expand the entire gym uh, across the full garage. So check this out. So this is the mess that I'm talking about. I have my tools, which I'm gonna organize, and I have all this junk that I'm gonna to try to organize and get rid of. Uh, so that way we can expand this whole thing with mats, gear, what have you. So today we got this organizer we're gonna put together and see what we can do. I painted this back wall, which I didn't film, but I painted that whole wall and I painted um, up around to match the gray. And I'm actually going to be painting this wall gray too. I'm gonna leave the bear, don't worry. I'm gonna leave the bear, but I'm gonna paint uh, around it. I'm gonna paint it gray so that way it all matches. Um, and I, I think there's too much color in here as far as the walls go. So I wanna get that looking good. Uh, nice and clean, sleek looking. Uh, let's see, over here we added a mirror in front of the squat rack. Uh, we got our fridge, 
right there. We got an air bike. We scored that thing off of Offer Up for 150 bucks. It's the original Aerodyne Schwinn. Um, so it's really old, but it's in great condition. Uh, you can see it right there. Uh, it works absolutely fantastic. This sign right here, uh, this sign my brother painted. I went and picked it up from him, so huge thanks to him. I'll drop his uh, the link to his Instagram in the bio. Um, other than that, there's still a few things that I need to do. I need to get a another mat right here. Wilco was out of the 4x8s. They're gonna get more on Tuesday, so I'm gonna go pick up another one of those mats. Um, and then, I think that's pretty much it. There's still a few tweaks. Like I said, I'm gonna paint the wall. I'm gonna get that mat, and I'm gonna clean up a little bit more junk and try and organize it more. Um, this thing I'm pretty excited about. There's a post right there to uh, protect your car from driving into the water heater. And since we don't park in here anymore, I figured I could uh, mount a bucket to it and use it as a chalk bucket. So I'm pretty stoked about that. I'll probably put another one here right next to the deadlift platform. Um, that way you can chalk up when you squat, when you bench. I don't know why you would need to chalk up when you squat. That way you can chalk up when you bench, um, deadlift, whatever, wherever you are. Um, yeah. I had to come inside because my neighbor started doing some junk and it was way too loud to record. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Watching me change up my garage gym or a home gym or you're looking to build a garage gym or a home gym. I hope this gave you ideas. I hope this inspired you. Go get to work. Go build your garage gym. Me, I haven't worked out for about four days because the whole gym has been torn apart and I'm really stoked it's put, the, put back together. I'm gonna go work out, get my sweat on. I'll catch you guys next time.